Here at AMIAP, we have a working Chroma Polaris. And this is a, an instrument by Rhodes of the Fender Rhodes Company. They took over the ARP company when the ARP uh, went out of business around the end of the 70s. And first there was the, uh, the Chroma, the Rhodes Chroma, and then this came out, the Rhodes Chroma Polaris, a simpler version of the Rhodes Chroma. This is uh, from, I'd say, 1984, 84, 85. Um, you see them around occasionally, but most of them are broken. So this is an amazing thing to find a working one. This is a very early polysynth. And uh, first I'll play some presets and then uh, look around and see what we can do with this. It's a six-voice synth. In other words, I can play six notes at once. And each voice has two oscillators and a very nice filter. The sounds are very, very reminiscent of ARP, naturally, since it's ARP parts. It's, this is uh, ARP living past ARP, that is, so to speak. So let's see, what have we got for sound? I have a sort of resonant sound here. playing this, I hardly notice that it's only six voices. If you adjust your playing technique, six voices is enough to make some very, very nice polyphony. Now, just like monosynths, it really makes a difference how you finger it. You can re-trigger the envelope or you can let the envelope ride, depending on how you touch it. interesting because it's really different than an organ or actually it's different than a lot of mono uh, excuse me modern polysphonic synthesizers uh, this is more like a cross of old school and new school we have six voices to play with some really cool sounds but a limited palette and it's very synth like it's really not like the samplers or other things that were coming into vogue then in the mid 80s let's have another preset Ah, sync locked, sync locked oscillators, we can hear that. Okay, an expressive polysynth, but remember very early and with a sound that's different that we don't hear much today. Now what's interesting here, I pull up a preset, 
but all these other controls are still live. So watch, the moment I touch the filter, say the filter cutoff, so I can revoice it on the fly and then store a new preset. Since this is 1985, you can hear that clearly the quantizing noise as I go up and down the filter, you can hear it go through distinct stages. Well, hey, <laughs> they just started. It was a brand new class of instruments in the mid 70s, I mean, mid 80s, 1983, 84. Uh, this was new stuff, and you can't expect it to sound like today. However, it has a sound of its own, and you can play it, and it's very characteristic. For instance... Some of us like that sort of stuff. Hey, lovely sounds. And again, things you don't commonly hear today because sounds and synths come in and out of style. This is the Chroma Polaris from 1984 and an early polysynth with only th six voices. It was rather delicate, but it really continued the ARP sounds because they got the last remaining stock of ARP instruments. So, if you find one, enjoy it.